morning, Shelly. <laughs> Hi, Helen. some movement and some energy so standing with your feet wide however you feel grounded and comfortable bend your knees we're relaxing our upper body we're just going to start bouncing in our knees if you've never done shaking before this is just it's such a great way to to move energy through the body any stagnant energy any blockages you may feel are there Continuing to breathe, we're breathing in and out. You can breathe through your nose or your mouth, however you want, but we're just shaking. Awesome. I've been pretty low on energy the last couple of classes, which is fine. I've been acknowledging that, I've been respecting that. But yesterday, Shelly requested that today's class be a little bit more fire, a little bit more heat and some more movement. So I thought, you know what, why not? Let's just plan a class out, bringing in some fire, bringing in some heat. And I woke up this morning and I am so full of energy, my back's not sore and I'm feeling so good and I'm ready for this class. So divine intervention there, the mother-daughter connection at its finest. Continuing to shake, you might wanna start moving your arms around Bending deeper in your knees, you might want to move to one foot, shake out that leg, shake out your hands, just continuing to bounce, creating that energy. Morning, Roz. So we're just shaking, you can shake around. You'll feel your heart rate starting to come up now. This is what it looks like on the side if you're not sure what you're doing, you're just feeling your body bending and shaking. Let your arms go. Feels amazing. You know, the longer you do this, the more that you can awaken within you. I, I only ever used this for a few minutes at a time when I felt low energy or stagnant energy. And then I went to this retreat in Indonesia and we did shaking for 45 minutes. And I'm telling you, it was unbelievable. It took me about 25 minutes to really sink into it and open up and then I just released things that I didn't even know I was holding on to and it's just transformative so if you'd like to know more about shaking send me a message I can also create a class on it which would be really fun but maybe just try it next time you're feeling a little bit stuck or low energy or you know that there's something building up inside but you're not quite sure what it is try shaking for a little while morning Casey darling Right, one more minute of this. Get into it now, really shake it up. Waking up the body, feeling the blood flowing, your heart rate lifting. Take an inhale, feet spread wide, grounded on the floor, and we're just gonna stop. Palm towards the front, wide-legged mountain pose here. Close down your eyes. Breathing deep in and out through the nose now. Feeling the energy that you've just created. Feeling your heartbeat, your veins pulse. It's so easy to just, you know, reach for a coffee cup or, or an energy drink or something to get our energy lifted. But it's also just as easy to spend a few minutes getting your body naturally energized it's so easy and it feels so good you know I'm almost 50 get 50 days caffeine free now and I honestly feel the natural energy first couple of weeks were definitely hard 
but it's all inside us. Our body gives us everything we need. So taking a deep breath in now, feet come together, arms reach up to the sky. Just give yourself a full body stretch. And exhale, release, drop your arms. Arms out wide. We're doing eagle arms here. Right arm on top of the left, take your twist. See how your shoulders are feeling today, pushing our hands out and away from our face, lifting our elbows up to the sky, feeling that deep stretch in our shoulders. Inhale, lift up a bit higher and release. Arms back out to the side. Swapping over now, left hand on top, finding that twist. Pushing your hands out away from your face, lifting the elbows up as high as you can. The higher they go, the deeper the stretch. And try to keep your wrists away from your face. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. And release. Take a few shoulder rolls. We're just taking ourselves down now to all fours. We're gonna go into a few cat cows now, warming up our spine. So finding your tabletop, fingers spread wide, knees underneath hips, gaze looking down in between your hands. Dropping your belly now, inhale. Exhale, up to cat. Inhale, dropping your belly. Gaze moving up to the sky. Exhale, cat, sucking that stomach in. Inhale, dropping your belly. Exhale, cat. On your next inhale, neutral spine, tabletop, tucking in our toes, pushing ourselves up to our first downward facing dog. So pedaling it out now, feeling where the tightness is, where the energy is. Is there anything holding? Are you sore from yesterday's exercise? Do you have an injury maybe? Did you sleep funny? Just tuning in. What do you feel today? Acknowledge it, releasing it. Planting our palms now, nice and strong. Left foot lifts up, lifts up to the sky, bent knee here. Opening up, stacking those hips one on top of the other. Twisting to open. Looking out underneath that left armpit. Inhale, three-legged dog, legs straightened. Toes point up to the sky. Bringing our knee to nose here. Holding for a moment, stepping that left foot through. Untucking the toes, low lunge, arms up to the sky. Hands together in prayer, take a slight back bend. If your neck is okay, take your gaze up to the sky. Feeling that lunge. Take an inhale. Exhale, pull yourself back to runner's lunge. So left foot active, toes reaching up towards your nose. Hands planted in front of you, or you can take them behind if you're wanting more of a stretch, taking that head down to that left knee. Inhale, coming back through, finding your lunge. Looking up to the sky. Exhale, plant your palms, tuck onto that right toe, push yourself back to downward facing dog. Doing that on the other side, planting that left foot in the center, right foot lifts up to the sky, bend that knee. Open up, stack the hips, looking out and under your right armpit, feeling the weight in your fingers and your palms, not in your wrists. All right, straightening that right leg, find three-legged dog, bringing it through now, knee to nose, hold here, engaging your core. Exhale, planting that foot in front of you, untuck your left toes, Finding your low lunge, arms up to the sky. Slight back bend, engaging Lulabandha, looking up, shoulders away from ears. Take an inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge, pulling that hip back. Big toe reaching up towards your body. Hands on the ground in front or behind to deepen your stretch. Relax your head down towards your knee. Inhale, coming back through, low lunge, arms up to the sky, take a back bend, relax 
relaxing here, hands down to the ground, tucking the left toes under, push yourself back to your downward facing dog. We're going to do that again on both sides, we're going to take a little bit faster now, building the heat. Planting the right foot in the centre, left leg up to the sky, bending the knee, opening up to the left. Straightening that leg, knee to nose, bringing the weight through. Planting that foot down, untuck the right toes, low lunge, arms up to the sky. Pulling back now, runner's lunge, your version. Coming back through into our low lunge, inhale. Exhale, planting the hands, tucking the toes under, downward facing dog. Right hand side, left foot plants in the centre, right leg lifts up to the sky, bend the knee, opening up to the right. Not gripping in the jaw or the face here. Straightening that leg, three-legged dog, bring yourself through, knee to nose, hold it here for a moment. Step that foot through, untuck the left toes, low lunge, arms up, looking up to the sky, pulling back now, runner's lunge, your version. Inhale, coming back through to our low lunge, arms up to the sky. Exhale, planting the palms, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Well done everyone, building the heat now, pedal it out, twisting your hips. You know, walk your hands, oh, sorry, walk your feet to meet your hands. So standing the front of your mat now, forward fold. Generous bend in the knees, start to roll up with control, stacking vertebra on top of vertebra. Shoulder roll when we get to the top. We got Megan, Megan as well, good morning. All right, we'll take a little bit of a flow here, a variation of our sun salutation. Deep breath in, exhale out. Inhale, root to rise, arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stepping the left foot back, High lunge, arms up to the sky. Back bend here. Exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming through to plank. Exhale, up and over, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps through our high lunge, take the back bend. Exhale, step up to meet the front. Forward fold. Inhale, rolling up with control. Take a shoulder roll. Do another few flows like this. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, root to rise, arms up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, step the left foot back, high lunge, back bend here if you're able. Exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog. Inhale, up and over, hold your plank, nice and strong, pushing the shoulder blades away from each other, finding that curvature in the upper back. Inhale, up to downward facing dog. Exhale, stepping that left foot through, find your high lunge, slight back bend. Inhale, downward facing dog. All right, walking our feet up to meet the front. Find your forward fold. Rolling up with control. <laughs> Stuffed up the end of that bit, no worries. Take a shoulder roll. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, root to rise, arms up to the sky. Take a back bend if you'd like here, if you're feeling good. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, step your left foot back, take your high lunge. Exhale, plant your palms, down facing dog. Inhale, up and over, find your plank. Nice and strong, hold it here. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, high lunge on the other side. So, stepping that back foot up to meet the front, take your forward fold. 
rolling up with control. So all three of those sequences were different. My mind's going too fast for my body. Shaking out your legs now. Feeling that warmth and that heat we're cultivating today. Now I want you, your big toes to be touching, your heels to be about your fist width distance apart. We're taking ourselves into chair. So bending our knees. You should be able to see your big toes over your knees. If you're looking down, you don't want your weight to be too far in front or behind. So finding that bend, knees together. You can see your big toes. Arms up and out in front of you. So tucking our tailbone under. I'll go on the side. We don't want to see any of this. We don't want to see our bottoms poking out and that curvature in our spine. We want this to be tucked under, finding that flat back, protecting our lower sacral, sacrum. So in your chair, feeling that heat, building that fire. Back long, shoulders away from ears. Take an inhale. Exhale, release, take a forward fold. Straighten your legs here, see if you can pull yourself down. Just a micro bend in the knees, we never lock the joints out. So when I say straight legs, there's just no, no major bend, just a micro bend. Planting your palms now, we want to hop, step or jump back into plank. So whatever your, your energy levels are today, hopping yourself back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, taking our weight forward, slowly lowering down, elbows in towards the body. Untuck your toes, up dog or cobra whatever you're practicing today. Exhale, release yourself back down, tuck the toes under, pushing up to plank, down to down facing dog. We're gonna take a few breaths here, pedaling it out if you want, finding stillness if you wanna concentrate and feel that prana flowing, flowing through your body. I want you to bend your knees, look forward and between your hands and you can hop, step or jump your way back to the front. Landing lightly on your feet, toes together, knees, fist width distance apart. We're going to bring ourselves up into our chair. Very good. Engaging your core, pushing your knees together. We should be feeling some heat. I'm getting a little bit of sweat beads on my face. So belly button to spine, relaxing your face muscles, take an inhale, exhale forward fold, so find your stretch, pulling yourself down. We're nice and warm now, we should be able to pull ourselves a little bit deeper than we did our first time. Planting your palms, hop, step or jump back into your plank, whatever your practice is today. Chaturanga Dandasana, take the weight up and forward, lower yourself down nice and slow. Pushing yourselves into up dog or cobra. Lowering yourself down now, planting your palms strong beside you, tuck your toes under, pushing yourself up into plank. And we go up and over, downward facing dog. Well done guys. Building the fire. When the fire starts to burn, right? That's what we should be doing yoga to today, that song. <laughs> All right, bending your knees, chest to your thighs, looking forward between your fingers. Jump yourself up to the front. Find your forward fold. Bending your knees, toes together, heels apart, swooping our arms back, we're taking chair again. Pushing your shoulder blades down and together, knees together. You can take your gaze up to look in between your hands. Tucking your tailbone under. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Straighten your legs. Pulling yourself down. Finding your stretch today. Getting deep into the stretch. Plant your palms. Hop, step or jump back into plank. We want to do that gracefully. We don't want to hear ourselves clunking on the ground or landing with, with force. Nice and gentle. It should be soft. So in your plank, 
holding here, rocking back and forth, feeling that core engaged. Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down slowly. It's really hard to talk and do that bit. <laughs> Pushing yourself back into up dog or cobra. Neck long. Lowering yourself down with control. Tucking your toes under, pushing yourself back up into plank. Up and over, downward facing dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Well done. We'll walk our feet into the center. Walk your hands back to meet your feet and slowly roll up with control. Shoulder roll at the top. Feeling that spine stacking onto itself. Just give your legs a little shake. Awesome, building heat today. Now while we're nice and warm, we're gonna take ourselves into an eagle pose. So starting with our left foot planted firmly on the ground, spreading your toes, all four corners of the foot now, connected to the earth. Bending into that left leg. So we're going to lift our right leg up and over, finding your eagle twist. Arms out long. Bringing them over, finding your twist. Right arm on top of left here. Palms together if they can reach. Bending deep into that left leg, lifting the arms up and away, finding your eagle pose. Core engaged, guys. Finding your drishti or your focal point to help your balance, something in front of you that's not moving. Lifting your arms up and away a bit more. Take a big inhale, drop yourself lower. Awesome, one more big inhale. In exhale, release, nice and slow. Bringing the right foot to the earth. Shaking that off, getting ready to do that on the other side. Right foot, finding our grounding, spreading your toes wide, all four corners of the foot on the earth, bend into that right leg. Left leg comes up and over, find your eagle on the other side. Then your legs are not gonna be the same. One side's gonna be harder than the other and that's normal. So arms out, left arm comes on top this time. Bending deep, engaging your core, finding your center balance, finding your drishti, your focal point. Hands away from the face, elbows lifting up, bending down. Tailbone tucked under, try not to clench in your jaw, sit a little bit lower. Sweet, let's take a big inhale, so drop a little bit lower. Inhale, rising up, and release. Shake it out, guys. Awesome. We're gonna take a little flow here, planting your palms on the ground in front of you. Walk them out to the front. Step your legs back into your downward facing dog. We're gonna lift up onto our toes, make the wave, come forward into our plank. We're gonna Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down, untuck your toes, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Jump forward to meet your hands, straighten your legs, halfway lift, find length here. Exhale, release, plant your palms, jump or hop or step back into your plank. Up and over now, bump towards the sky, onto our toes, pushing back into our down facing dog. Do that again. Up onto our toes, making that wave. Weight comes into our arms, find your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, take the weight forward, lowering yourself to the ground. Untuck your toes, pushing back into cobra or up dog. Shoulders away from ears. Pulling back now into downward facing dog. Bending your knees, looking forward, jumping up in, front, in between the hands, straighten your legs, halfway lift. Your version, hands on your shins or your thighs or fingers resting on the ground, gaze towards the ground. Exhale, release, plant your palms, 
Hop step or jump back to your plank. Up and over, downward facing dog. Find stillness here. We're gonna take five deep breaths. Feel all four corners of your feet connected to the earth. All four corners of your palms, your fingertips gripping. Shoulder blades pushing out and away, turning down towards the earth. Thighs turning inwards towards each other, rotating those hips out. Tailbone up to the sky. <sighs> Feeling that fire. Feeling that sweat. All right, bending your knees, looking forward, jumping up, feet in between your hands. Take your forward fold. Generous bend in the knees now. Stacking the spine, rolling up with control. Take a shoulder roll. Awesome. Fix yourself up. We're going to go into a little bit more of an intermediate asana now. So we're going to go from a dancer's pose into our standing split. And then we'll take our little our little vinyasa and then we'll do it on the other side. So we'll start on the left. <clears throat> Standing in the middle of your mat now, right foot completely rooted into the ground. Spread your toes, find your core balance. Now before we start to lift into our asana, I want you to find your drishti. Before we even take that left foot off the ground, engage your core, feel your balance through that right leg. And find your focal point. Our left hand is going to come around and grab hold of the inside of our left foot. So your palm should be sitting in the arch of your foot. So finding your balance here, always remember to keep a slight micro bend in your grounding leg. We're going to lean from the hips forward. We're going to push our left foot back and away from our left hand. Right hand is coming up and forward, palm to the sky. You can take a mudra here with your hands, any kind of thing you want to do with your hands here. And we're going to slowly push that left leg away. Finding your dancing pose, your dancer's pose here. Engaging your core, relaxing your face muscles. Keep bending down towards the ground here. Balancing, balancing, until your right hand touches the ground. Release gently that left leg, left hand comes to the ground, we're going to find our forward split, our forward fold split. So if you've got really good balance today or if you'd like to challenge yourself to something new, grab hold of that right ankle with both your hands. So your drishti is on the ground now, everything engaged, finding your balance. Keeping that right leg bent. <laughs> Take an inhale and release. Stay in your forward fold, both feet on the ground. Planting your palms, stepping, jumping yourself back into your plank. Taking our vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana. Weight goes up and over the palms. Slowly lowering yourself down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, hop step or jump to the front. Take your halfway lift, find length, your version. Exhale, hands to the ground, bending your knees, slowly rising up with control. Shoulder roll at the top. Great guys, I'm losing my breath. This is good, I'm feeling good. I hope you're all feeling good today. I hope, Shelley, this is enough fire for you. I'm sure you're doing this on the beach somewhere in Bali, getting all sweaty. You're going to do that on the other side. Left foot is grounding us. It is being the trunk to our tree. All four corners of the feet here. Slight bend in that left leg. Find your drishti before we lift the right leg up. Engaging Mula Bandha, your deep core muscles. Finding your focal point. Right arm goes back, grabs the inside of your right foot. 
Arch of the foot to palm of the hand. Left hand goes out in front, find your mudra. We start to bend from the hips. Right foot pushing away. So you'll feel your glutes and your hamstrings engaged on that right hand side. Trying to keep our hips level and our shoulders level. So keep bending down, slowly, slowly from the hips until that left hand touches the earth. Let go with that right hand, straighten that right leg. Find your standing splits. So try your balance on this side. If you want to give it a go, grabbing hold of that left ankle, keeping everything engaged. You'll find that one side's easier than the other. I feel a lot more balanced on this side than the other side today. Keeping your gaze down towards your toes. Release everything. Feet come together. Hands to the ground, planting your palms, take our flow. Jump, step or hop back into your plank. Alright, pushing away from the earth, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lowering elbows into the body, slowly down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here for a moment, finding your breath. We're going to plant the right foot in towards the center. Left foot lifts up and long. Three-legged dog holding here for a second. Bringing it through knee to nose. Hold here. Shoot that leg back out. High leg here, pointed toes. Bring it back in, elbow to knee. Knee to elbow, left hand side. Shoot that leg up and back. Bring it on through other elbow. Left knee to right elbow. Shoot it on back. Well done, you guys. Bring it through once more, nose to knee. Lower yourself down into your pigeon. Hooey. Feeling that fire. Finding your pigeon here. We're nice and warm. We should be nice and flexible. Planting your palms on the earth. Take an inhale. your body up and back, shoulders down. Now I invite you to, if, if this is part of your practice and if you'd like to try, go ahead. If it's too much for you, you can lower yourself down and just take a king pigeon. Relax down into that stretch. Otherwise, I invite you to bend that back leg, pointing that toe, bend that leg. See how that feels. A little bit more. Take that right hand up and over, grabbing the inside of your foot like we did in our dancer pose. Pushing ourselves up nice and tall, taking your gaze slowly to look back at that foot, feeling that stretch. A little bit more here, you can bend that leg and take that foot to sit on the inside of your right elbow. Gaze towards the back. A little bit more, releasing that left hand, taking that mudra to the front and look up at your left fingers now. core engaged. Exhale, slowly release. Back into your pigeon. Planting your palms, keeping that left leg off the ground. Tuck under your right toes. Shoot that leg back. Three-legged dog. Lower it to the ground. Pedal it out now. We'll do that on the other side. Left foot in the center. Right foot shoots up and back, three-legged dog. Bending in now, knee to nose, core engaged, feeling that heat, that fire. Shoot that leg back up, right knee to right elbow. Shoulders nice and strong, hands on the earth, shoot that leg back up, right knee to left elbow, find that twist. Shoot that leg back up. Last time, knee to nose, hold it here, hover. Pushing away from the earth. Plant that leg down into our pigeon. Rearranging yourself if you need to here. Feeling that stretch, rocking yourself side to side. All right, taking all those variations now. 
thoughts on ring your body or what it feels to do. You might have felt good doing all of that on the other side, but this side you don't want to, or your hips are just a bit too tight. Just honor your body, give it what it wants. Give it what it needs. You know what's best for you. So pushing yourself up and back. If you wanna follow me on these modifications, come with me. Otherwise, just lower yourself down into your stretch and hold there, continuing to breathe. Bending that left leg, toes pointed. Next step, left arm up and over, grabbing the inside of that left foot, twisting around so that your gaze is over, looking at that left foot. Feeling the nice stretch in the front of your shoulder here. Next step, if you'd like, bending that leg more, placing that foot on the inside of the left elbow. Look. Holding here. Bringing your gaze back to the front now and you're letting go of the ground with that right hand, taking your mudra. Feeling long here, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale, releasing gently. Planting your palms, tucking under the toes on that left foot, shooting that right leg back, three-legged dog. So we'll take an exhale, downward facing dog. Hop, step or jump yourself back to your forward fold. Feeling long here, feeling open in the hips. Inhale, halfway lift your version. Exhale, forward fold. Wiggle your feet out to the side a little bit more. Take a 45 degree angle, have your little toes spilling out over the edge of your mat. And take ourselves down into our yogic squat, so nice and gentle here. Rocking yourself side to side. Finding your squat. Beautiful hip opener here, hands to heart, prayer pose. If you've got your balance, if you're feeling good. Otherwise, you can keep your hands in front of you. You can even hold on to the sides of your yoga mat if you're feeling imbalanced today. And taking a few beautiful breaths. Beautiful. A few beautiful breaths. So next, I'd like to open the floor up, open the space up for you to practice any inversion that might be part of your practice at the moment. So if you're not sure what an inversion is, an inversion is like a shoulder stand or a head stand or a, you know, plow pose or you can use the wall or anything that you feel, uh, maybe a crow pose from here, it's perfect to go into crow. Um, that's not part of my practice at the moment, but I open the floor up a few minutes for you to practice an inversion be gentle with yourself. If you don't want to do an inversion, then you can just continue to do a stretch that you feel your body needs. I'm going to practice a little uh, headstand against the wall, just very briefly. If you've got a wall and you, this is part of your practice, sure, follow me. Don't hurt yourself. Don't do something that you haven't done before. Remember, if you are doing inversion, don't come out of it too fast. And when you come out of an inversion, don't sit up straight away. Always take yourself into child's pose first, allowing that blood to come back into your body, avoiding any headaches or head spins here. Sit in your child's pose, and then slowly bring yourself back up. what inversions you practice today so maybe after the class if you could leave a comment and let me know what inversion is part of your flow at the moment that'd be awesome so 
side, taking yourselves onto your bottoms, legs out long to the front, just take a forward fold here. You can point or flex your toes, one or the other. Breathing deep and holding your stretch here. <coughs> Letting your head hang down, relaxing your neck. Feeling that stretch all the way down the back of your legs and all the way down your spine. Slowly rolling up now. Bringing our feet together, butterfly pose. Bounce your legs just a little here. Feeling the hip joints all lubricated, working beautifully. Thank you, body. Thank you for allowing me this movement. Find stillness here. Sitting nice and tall, back straight. I want you to just give your feet a little bit of love. Give them a little squeeze, give them a little massage. Honor these beautiful, beautiful little things that have carried us around our entire lives. They never complain, they take the weight of our world every single day. Squeeze your heels, acknowledge every beautiful toe. <laughs> Not everyone has feet, not everyone has toes. Just be thankful, so thankful for the abundance we have in our life. You might want to squeeze your ankles now. You might even want to go up into your calf muscles. That feels really good. <laughs> awesome, guys. You can continue to give yourself more love anytime you need throughout the day. I want you to send your legs out long. Slowly rolling down with control now, engaging our course, nice and nice and slow. Engage, keeping our core engaged, bringing our knees up to our chest, give them a big hug, rock side to side. You can grab hold of your feet if you're able and pull yourself up into a tiny little ball, shoot your face through your knees as much as you can, lower back down. Rock side to side. So we're going to take a twist now to finish up on either side. So you can go to tabletop and you can take a leg bent twist. You can straighten one leg and take your supine twist. You can make eagle legs again and twist that way. So I leave this twist open to you however your body feels like it needs to be wrung out today. Listen to your intuition here. Find your twist to one side, your gaze looking out over the other hand. Feeling our heart rate slowing down now. Inhale, bringing yourself back up to center, taking your twist on the other side. Looking out over that other hand, trying to keep both shoulders on the ground here. Muscles relaxed in your face and your neck and your jaw. Breathing deep into the stretch, exhaling any tension. Relaxation time, please lie flat on your back, get comfortable. If 
if you're wanting to keep your energy up and alive and continue bringing it into the rest of your day, I invite you to do this next bit seated. So find, find your Shavasana seated with your eyes closed, laying down with your eyes closed. I'll give you a few minutes to get ready while I turn off my lights, set myself up. Shavasana now. Ladies, I invite you, if you've had your hair tied up for this class, take it out. Take out your hair. Take that tension out of your scalp. Relax. Let it all go. Give yourself a little head rub. Who cares what you look like? Who cares if you've got oily hair? Nobody cares. <laughs> you probably care more than anyone else. But getting yourself nice and comfortable. Okay. Starting to slow down your breath. Whether you're seated or you're laying down, I invite you to close your eyes. Focusing on your breath for a little while, slowing down. The teachings I wanna offer you today are about letting go and freeing yourself. So just take a moment to check in with yourself. What does that mean to you? When I just said those words, what was the first thing that popped into your mind? Taking a deep breath in now, exhaling with a sigh. <sighs> Holding onto pain doesn't fix anything. Replaying the past over and over again doesn't change it. And wishing things were different doesn't make it so. When it comes to the past, all you can do is accept whatever it is you're holding on to and then let it go. That's when everything begins to change. You, let, you must let go of what is hurting you, even if it feels impossible. Deciding to hold on to the past will hold you back from creating a strong sense of self a self that isn't defined by your past, but rather by who you want to be. Oddly enough, painful feelings can become comfortable, especially if they're all you've ever known. It's common to have trouble letting go of pain or other unpleasant emotions about your past because you come to think of those feelings as part of your identity. In some ways, you may not know who you are without that pain, and it makes it impossible for you to let go. So I'd like to share these 12 beautiful teachings with you today about letting go and working towards freeing yourself. One, understand relationships change. We must accept the person we are in this moment and the way other people are too. As time goes on, we continue to learn that things don't always go as planned. 
actually they pretty much never do and that's okay if you become aware of yourself and your part in your relationships they will improve however you may also have to accept facts about certain people in your life practice gratitude appreciation and trust in the process Expectations usually lead to disappointment. Expectations have a way of keeping us stuck because they lead us to fear certain outcomes. There are no guarantees in life and there's nothing we can really do to get the outcomes we desire when dealing with others. When our expectations or needs aren't met, we need to respond rationally and appropriately. Sometimes this means setting respectful boundaries, other times it means letting go. Three, don't live with self-limiting beliefs and don't let them define who you are. We think, I could never do that, or I could never make that happen. If you truly believe that, you'll never accomplish your goals. Open up your mind and believe in yourself. There'll be many people in life who tell you that you can't do it, including yourself, and it's up to you to prove them all wrong. Four, let go of the idea that you can control others' actions. We really, truthfully, only have control over ourselves and how we act. You can't change another person, so don't waste your time and energy trying. This is the biggest factor that pushes people to hold onto unhelpful behaviours, like the need to please. We think, if only I do everything for everyone, they'll never get mad at me wrong. <laughs> Five. Only worry about what you think of yourself. Free yourself from being controlled by what other people think. Start to prioritize how you feel about yourself. As Mahatma Gandhi said, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. You can't live by your values if you're living for the approval of others. Six, leave room for mistakes. Did you make a mistake or say something stupid? It's okay. Use this experience to learn and make a joke. It doesn't make you stupid to say something wrong or silly. It makes you human and sometimes even funny. Seven, accept the things you cannot change. Stop wishing things could be the way that they once were Bring yourself into the present moment. This is where life begins. You can't change the past. You can only make decisions today to help how your future turns out. Eight. Don't take yourself too seriously. This will allow you to relax and enjoy life's journey. I laugh with myself and at myself all the time. I invite you to try this. Nine. Do what scares you. 
Fear holds us back from doing a lot of things because it closes our minds to possibilities for our future and locks us into our comfort zone. Most fears fill us with doubt and what ifs that imprison us. The more you do to get out of your comfort zone, the more, feel, the more fear will vanish. In life, do what scares you and you'll grow and succeed. Express what works for you. Find your voice and share with others what you're thinking and feeling in a rational way. If you continue to communicate with others what works for you and doesn't work for you, you'll no longer bottle up your emotions. Expressing yourself is an important part of feeling good about yourself and your relationships. Self-expression is always allowed. Always speak your truth and alignment will follow. Eleven. Allow yourself to feel negative emotions. Whether you've lost a loved one, lost your job or a loving pet, honour that loss. Whether you're just feeling sad or angry and don't know why, acknowledge, accept, and allow it to release organically. Trying to ignore your negative emotions will expand and extend your suffering. Loss is difficult to experience and it's okay to allow yourself to hurt, to grieve and to be sad. Let yourself feel and go through the process so that you can move forward and enjoy the afterglow, the feeling of lightness after your release. And 12, learn forgiveness. Resentment and unwillingness to forgive will keep you locked in the past and prevent you from moving forward with your life. Remember, when you forgive, you aren't doing it for the other person. You're doing it for yourself. If for no other reason than that, forgive and let go. Do it for you. Carl Jung said, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. And there's a lesson in that for all of us. Try to let go of whatever it is that's holding you back from experiencing yourself. You'll probably realize that you are not what other people say you are. You are not your pain, nor your past, nor your emotions. It's the negative ideas about yourself and our hurtful self-talk that gets in the way of who we really want to be. Being able to let go requires a strong sense of self, which gives you the ability to learn and grow from your experiences. Take a deep breath in collectively now. Hold that breath deep in your core, feeling any emotions that have risen throughout these teachings, allowing them to be. Exhale now, out through your mouth, letting all of that go. Another one like this, inhale, holding that breath deep in your core, feeling it spread throughout your body sitting comfortably in whatever you're feeling right here, right now. Exhaling it out through your mouth, letting it go. Take your breath now back to just being normal, being comfortable. These are such beautiful words and such beautiful teachings. I'm going 
to upload these words to my Facebook page or please ask me if you'd like a copy. I think I'm going to stick these up in my bathroom and read them daily for the next little while. It's just a beautiful reminder that we are human, we are real, we are raw and that's how we're supposed to be and no one's allowed to deny us those feelings. I'd like you to bring your hands into prayer to your chest or your third eye, whether you're sitting or laying, staying beautiful and comfortable. My soul recognizes your soul. I honor the light, love, truth, beauty and kindness within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, there is no distance and no difference between us. We are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. Oh, I'm so full of energy today. Oh, that was such a nice flow, building up our fire, building up our strength. This class was requested by my mum, Shelley, the fire flow and the letting go meditation. I, I love putting requests together. So please, if you feel called to receive a certain kind of meditation or yoga practice, let me know. So thank you again. Namaste, beautiful people. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk again soon. Love you all.